God, that's bright. <laughs> well, first thing I want to say, I talked to Gustavo last night, and I told him, I said, promise me you won't fire me after this demonstration today. He said he promised he wouldn't. So uh, <laughs> with that, we're going to kind of get it rolling. They came up to me a few weeks ago and said, uh, we'd like for you to do this demonstration. But they really didn't give me any idea as to what they wanted me to do. So as any good solutions consultant should do, I sat around and listened to people talk about different things that they would like to have. During a dinner that we had a few weeks ago with a federal group, people started talking about wanting new cars. And of course, my colleagues are not shy. My God, I talk a lot. They make me look like a, a silent person. But one of those individuals mentioned how she really wanted to have a new vehicle. And uh, so I thought I'd just bring her up on stage, go ahead and embarrass the heck out of her, and get her involved in this. So Heidi Silver, if you would come on up. She's the Vice President of Sales for our U.S. public sector. So I have to admit, I wasn't really listening to you because I've been tweeting hashtag Visage Catalyst. Right now is probably a good time for everyone to tweet hashtag live demos are fun. Um, but I do want to tell you, I had a really long night talking about software. And from the looks of things, a lot of you talked about software too. So we're probably all in the same boat. Yeah, definitely. So you remember, talk you remember that dinner, right? I do. Yeah, and you mentioned how your Mini Cooper just wasn't cutting it. Right. I agree. I can barely get in the thing, and I'm only 5'5". Five five, so I know <laughs> that it's a small vehicle. But in the end, we started talking about, well, what kind of vehicle would you want? I think I said a Lamborghini, maybe a Ferrari. No, nah, I didn't listen to Tesla. you there. I never listened to you anyway. Uh, but what you did say was one of your favorite movies was Smokey and the Bandit with good old Burt Reynolds, God rest his soul, right? So I got to thinking about it, and I, uh, I think I have the perfect car for you. Guys, can you bring the car up on the screen? <laughs> for those of you in the US who recognize this, this is the Bandit's car. And so as a result, we went out and we got Heidi one. Now, before you can drive this vehicle, however, there is a law in the U.S. that says you must have insurance. Correct. It's a silly law, especially for someone like you with such a stellar driving record. Fine. But we'll, uh, we'll figure that out. Now, just to bring everybody into the fold here, Heidi uses Uncle Gigi's insurance as her insurance provider. Now, this is a multinational, multi Oh, God, multi-product, very successful operation that our CEO, Gustavo Gomez, runs for us. Now, in there, we also have several different things that he insures for you. Correct. He insures your beautiful home up in D.C. He insures all of those shoes, uh, and he also insures your vehicles, right? That's right. Uncle Gigi does it all. He does. He's incredible. Now, one of the things, too, is he also provides his customers, especially his very important customers, with a mobile application that allows you to work with his company, right? That's true. Awesome. Could you do me a favor? Bring it up on that mobile device you've got there, and let's see how it goes. Awesome. As you notice, the Face ID automatically pulled us straight into the application, and there's that Huge Mini Cooper. Now, on there, could you do me a favor? Click on the car. And just to help everybody out, I took the liberty of taking a picture of that vehicle that you've been dreaming about. All the time. Absolutely. Because we are wanting to make sure that we've got the right vehicle, we pulled in all this information from a couple of different sources out there to, to be sure. Is this what you were expecting? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Can you go ahead and request the quote? Now, in here, we, in order to help you out, Uncle Gigi wants to make sure that it's personalized for you. Oh, so he's no. going to ask you a couple of questions. Why don't we go through the first one? Have you ever had a speeding ticket? Oh, of, of course, course not. not. No. Yeah. So I'm just going to press no. And what's happening is a bot is going to go out there, search across many different information sources, and come back with... <laughs> 
the answer to what we expected from a sales, especially a VP, the truth. Yeah. And I have customers here. <laughs> so according to the DMV, you did have a speeding ticket. What was that, about a year ago? I, I, I'm, I'm sure it was in a school zone where you were going 25 and a 20, but still, just I was in on case. my way to sell software. Right. <laughs> but let's go ahead and correct that, would you? All right. Now, the next question is, well, have you ever had an accident? I may have had an accident. I've ridden with you. I know you have. <laughs> so go ahead and say yes. <laughs> now, the question, though, that really bugs us all, was it your fault? So let me just, let me do a little backstory. Please, they please. Said I can't it wait. It was my fault. They said it was my fault. Um, so I'm guessing this bot's probably going to tell you it was my fault. Yep. I would guess the same thing. So what they're going to do is gather all that information together, utilizing an analytic system, and oh, that's not what I was expecting to see. <laughs> Unfortunately, due to your stellar record, they can't insure you just right off of one of the many policies that they offer. But since we are wanting to offer you a very personalized experience oh, and engage with you, we're going to let the call center give you a Great. look at what's going on. So if we could, let's bring up the call center. And what I want to do is show you guys what's happening in the back end here. So what we have here is a call center environment. In here, we've got a very busy call center agent by the name of Lisa. She's gone through many different policy holders. You can see how many of them are uh, very important people. And then down there at the bottom, you'll notice that there's a quick little pop-up that says, Heidi has requested insurance, but well, we just can't help her right out of the box, so we're going to help her through this piece. So if we click on that view, what happens now is we're going to get a full-on profile of Heidi, from the left-hand side, you can see her information. But on the right-hand side is the interesting stuff. This is the beautiful driving habits that she has offered throughout the last few years and the speed <laughs> adherence that she does through her laws. But we also know exactly where she is. Now, all of these are being pulled in through analytical views and analytics of all sorts. And if we scroll on down the screen just a little bit more, all of that information is being gathered together and presented to you in a view that is very clear. You are either a great driver, like myself, or you're a Heidi driver, which is where we are today. So as a result, the call center agent has everything she could possibly dream of to know about this very important person. And so she's going to click on that call customer and reach out to the customer. Are we connected? Hello, Heidi. Oh, hello. You look familiar. Yes, I think, we, <laughs> I think we've spoken before. My name is Lisa, and I work for Uncle Gigi's insurance. And I see you've requested a quote for insurance on a 1977 Trans Am. I have. But because, but because of your less than stellar driving record, the system was not able to find a policy that meets your needs. Is that correct? Well, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, we here at Uncle Gigi's want to make sure that you are always happy with our services and that we're offering you the best protection for your needs. So we do have an alternative option that I can offer you. Oh, this should be good. Um, are you familiar with a telemetry device? I think I'm about to. <laughs> well, it's one of those devices that you place in your vehicle and it sends us information on your driving habits. Um, right. If you, would, if you would be willing to put one of them in your vehicle, then we can put together a very good offer for you to be able to obtain insurance and drive that Trans Am. That's risky. Do you think that you can manage to avoid any incidents for the next 12 months? 12 months is a year? Yeah, that's a long time, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you can, we'd be able to reduce your premiums by 25%, and if you continue to drive with that incident for the next two years, we can continue to reduce your premiums by 25% each year. How does that sound so far? That sounds great. 
And Heidi, you know, that speeding ticket you have is really causing you to have increased premiums. But Just we have an additional ticket. offering that can that you can take advantage of to bring those premiums down. If, you, if within the next three months, our system doesn't receive notifications of any reckless or dangerous driving habits, we will reduce the premiums by another 10%. Is this something that you want to take advantage of? Yeah, more shoes. Great. <laughs> Well, then I will send you an offer with all the terms and conditions. And if you would just uh, open that up on your mobile device and sign in the electronic signature area, we'll be complete. Sounds good. Have fun with your car. Thanks. All right, so all of this has been a lot of fun. But what I want to do is step out of this demonstration for just a moment and kind of walk you guys through what we've seen so far from a Bazaji standpoint. One of the key things that we want to do with Bazaji is be engaged with our customers and be able to connect with them. So the best way to connect is the thing that is the separate appendage right there all the time in their bodies, and that's the mobile device. So we've got all of that information and we send it over to that mobile device. Utilizing the interface in a way that makes the user want to work with us and keeping it simple, we can allow that information to be gathered. And because we are using AI, we're using connectivity through information sources, we're pulling an RPA for the bot to be able to drive all of this information, and we're utilizing our connectivity of Internet of Things we can pull in various pieces from the DMV, like we did earlier, through the mobile device on the FaceTime so that we can engage very personally, but also through the offer that was presented there just a moment ago. That offer was gathered together through analytics and pushed out. So you've got a full engagement of your customer connected through all the possible devices that they might want to do, and as a result, you offer them a very agile experience. Now, let's go back to the demonstration for just a moment. And one of the things that Lisa did say was she sent you an offer. So as you can see, the terms and agreements are there. And obviously, being a normal person, she's going to read every bit of that. I did. <laughs> and then we're going to sign it. So we have a digital signature that's all set. And if you would, click on the four squares down at the bottom. We will now see that the car has been added to her profile, and now she is able to drive that beautiful car. Here's the keys. Thank you. Why don't you go on off, see that car up close and personal, Excellent. and take a little drive. And because we're all about social media, and I want to remember this day that you brought me on stage, <laughs> everyone wave. So yeah, at least she's still talking to me. <laughs> all right. so. I do have somebody talking in my ear here as well, so as soon as she gets to a point where she can get into the vehicle, we'll be able to see her up on the screen and watch, as we've already pointed out, that beautiful driving that she can do. And actually, if you're looking for a stunt person for a movie, she is it. <laughs> have we, uh, I think we do. We got it? Yeah, there we go. Wow. OK. We'll give her just a couple of minutes once she finishes driving through the school district. And uh, we'll bring her back up here so that you guys can experience one little thing for us. Because we know for sure <laughs> she's not getting that discount. <laughs> There's no way. So it's Heidi, there you are. <laughs> of course it wasn't. So since you drove so well in that video, it was very impressive. I told them all if they needed a stunt person, you're it. We talked with the stage hands. We think we actually have the car that would work for you. I'm afraid. And keep you out of trouble. Do you mind bringing that out here? Thank you. 
don't try to ride off in those shoes. There's no way. I need you to survive this. <laughs> and if anyone would like to notice, there are fuzzy dice on there, so we did keep with the same thing. <laughs> with that, I want to say thank you very much for the opportunity to get up here and talk to you. It's been a pleasure, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks.